Hey guys, it's Di, and I have a fun tag video for you today, and I could not believe I have not thought of this before. I was watching Diamond and Heels channel, and I saw the Confessions of a Shoeaholic video that she did, and I know that that is a tag that has been around for a really long time, so I was thinking of doing that one because I love shoes, and I thought it would be a fun one to do, but then I thought, well, I really want to do a purse tag first, so I went searching, and I could not find one, so I decided to make a list based on the Confessions of a Shoeaholic video and do confessions of a purseaholic. So I would love if you guys know of any handbag or purse tag videos that are on YouTube, please send them to me. And if there are not any, if this is the first one um, that is kind of this type of thing, please complete it and send it back to me in a video response. Why didn't we think of this before? <laughs> so, this is the Confessions of a Purseaholic tag, and um, I don't know who the original person is that came up with the Confessions of a Shoeaholic tag, but thank you to everyone that completed that tag, because I've watched a number of those, and that was kind of my inspiration in coming up with these questions. So, the first question is, what is my favorite style purse? And my favorite style style purse is one that has um, these two handles to carry and some kind of shoulder option. I have to have a bag that goes on my shoulder, but this type of bag, like the Balenciaga City handbag or the, the Lovaton Palermo, this is kind of like my favorite style because it can look nice and be handheld or it can go on your shoulder and it's really a functional style. So this is my favorite type of bag. And then the next question is, do you call it a purse, a bag, or a handbag? And this one is a really interesting one for me because I prefer the word handbag, but purse is kind of more universally accepted and that sort of thing. So I'm interested just to hear in what other people generally call the bag that they carry with them every day. So is it your purse, is it your bag, or is it your handbag? I really like the word handbag, but I fall back on the word just bag a lot because it's kind of more encompassing. And then the next question is, what is your go-to purse? And this is kind of like the first one where I have this Palermo PM. This is kind of my all situation, all weather, kind of do-it-all purse or handbag. And I really love that you can hold it by the handles and it looks like a very pretty purse. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. You can wear it with jeans, you can go to work. And then it's also super functional because you have this longer strap that can be worn crossbody if you need to in a pinch or it can be put up on the shoulder. So I've worn this when I've gone into the city. I've worn this, you know, just going out and about around the town where I live. So it's just a really great handbag and I think it's a really pretty one too. So this is kind of my go-to purse. And then the next question is, what is your least favorite purse trend? And I would have to say I'm really not a fan of see-through purses. I don't really like the idea of people being able to see everything that's in my bag and if it just has a ton of different receipts and things like that in there, I'm not really a big fan of the see-through purse trend. The next question is, what is your most expensive bag in your collection? And for me, that would be the Lovaton Luminous PM. I just got this at the beginning of the year, and I really love it. It's my first all-leather Louis Vuitton bag, and I just think it's a really gorgeous, pretty bag that's super functional as well. So this is one of my favorites in my collection. The next question is, what is your most used handbag? And this one is a really interesting one because my answer is the... Monty GM size. And if you guys remember about six months ago, I was actually debating whether or not to keep this bag because I thought it was too similar to my favorite bag, the Tivoli. But I've actually started using it this spring and summer and I think it is a fabulous bag. I'm loving it. So right now, my most used handbag is the Monty GM. I thought you guys would get a kick out of that because I'm really loving this and I'm so glad that I decided to keep it. It's really a great, solid bag that just does everything. It's just a nice errand bag and that sort of thing. And then the next question is, what is your least used handbag? And my least used handbag would unfortunately be the Berea. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I love this bag. I was so in love with it when it first came out. And I still really, really love it. It's just not the most practical thing with the all Verini. I love Verini, but it's just not the most practical thing with two kids. And then it also is a very dressy bag, so I don't always feel like my very casual life fits with the bag. But I love it, and it's going to be something that 
I'm going to keep in my collection and I'll know have it for those occasions where I just want a really nice, pretty, grown-up bag. And the next question is, what is your most wanted purse right now or what is on your wish list? And this one is actually kind of a tough one for me because I don't actually have like a giant wish list right now, which is abnormal for me. But I do kind of have in the back of my mind, I would eventually like to get a Louis Vuitton Speedy that has the strap attached. So it's like the Bandolure Speedy. And they just came out with it in the Damier at Bean print. So I would like to go check that out and just see if it's something that appeals to me at all. Um, but I know eventually I would like to get a Speedy, but I think I need one with the strap. So that's why I'm kind of leaning that way. And then also I would love to have an Epi Alma, I think, at some point in the future. But again, I have to get one that has the strap on it because at this point in my life with little kids, I have to have something that I can put on my shoulder because it's the most practical. So I don't really have a giant wish list right now. I guess I need to go down to the Louis Vuitton store or something and make up a wish list because I don't have really a lot of things that I'm like dying to have right now. And the next question is, how many bags do you own? And I had to kind of count it up, but I have around 15 designer bags and then just like a you know, handful of like non-designer, just basic bags. And like if you count like totes and all that kind of stuff, I probably have like 20 or 25 of those. But um, one of my favorite non-designer handbags is this little bag right here. It's from Forever 21 and I used it like when I went to the hospital to have both of my daughters. It's just like a nice functional like handbag. So I would say out of like the 20 or 25 like non designer handbags or totes or whatever you want to call them. Um, this is probably my favorite one of those that I have. And then the next question is, what is your favorite special occasion purse? And I don't really have like any fancy clutches or anything like that because my life doesn't really demand it. But my favorite like special purse right now is this Rebecca Minkoff clutch, which I would use this for special occasions in my life or like going to the zoo. But this is like my favorite kind of special out of the ordinary purse that I have right now. I think it's a really cool purse and I love that it's jingly. <laughs> The next question is, where is your favorite place to buy handbags? And I, I look online a lot of times, and then also, obviously, Louis Vuitton bags I either have to get in the store at Louis Vuitton or get them from a reputable place that I can get a used one if I'm looking on the pre-owned market. Um, but then, otherwise, I like looking at handbags like on Shopbop um, and then directly on the manufacturer's websites like Tory Burch, Kate Spade, Rebecca Minkoff, all those kind of brands. I like looking at their websites to see what they have available and then also stopping in their stores if I am at a place that has their stores actually too. So directly at the place, the location of the brand, so like Louis Vuitton, Tory Burch, their stores, or um, Saks Fifth Avenue, I also really like their selection as well. And I find them very comfortable and easy to shop with. And then the next question is, do you have any bags you regret purchasing? And for me, really, I don't have any bags that I necessarily regret purchasing. If anything, for me, I have a few I regret selling because I thought, you know, they don't fit my lifestyle anymore. I sold them, got other stuff. And I do have a few Balenciaga bags I do wish I would have held on to just because I will never find that specific bag again. But other than that, I don't really have any regrets for anything that I bought. If I buy something and it doesn't work for me, I sell it and get something that will work for me. That's the one thing that I do do with my handbags is um, I don't keep things that are not special to me and are not something that either works for my life or will be functional for me at some point. And then... The next question is, what is your favorite handbag? And I've been waiting for this one because my favorite handbag, and I know I talked it up a lot over the winter, but it is the Louis Vuitton Tavoli GM. And I love this handbag. It's just a really pretty bag that is still functional. I love that the straps fit over my shoulder and that has the zippers so I feel like my items inside are secure. It's got this really pretty keychain here on the side and it's just a really great size as well. It fits over your shoulder even wearing a coat really comfortably and this is absolutely my favorite handbag. I love this one and I think it'll be my favorite handbag for a while just because it's such a solid style. I really love this handbag. 
The next question is, what is your favorite handbag accessory? And my favorite accessory, and if you've seen my what's in your bag videos, then you already know this, is the Louis Vuitton Serre wallet. And I love this wallet. I've had this for years. I've had so many other wallets, and I just keep going back to this one. It's a super functional wallet. It keeps everything really organized, and I just, I love what it looks like. It's a pretty color, and it's just the ultimate accessory for me. It's definitely the best accessory I think I've ever purchased. And the last question is, what is always in your handbag? So right now I have my Monty GM loaded up and I'll show you real quick what I have in there and what is always in my handbag right now. And I have my Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet, which is always in there. I have my Tory Burch sunglasses, which I have been wearing this summer. And this is what they look like if you didn't see my video where I got them. I love these. <laughs> and then I have been carrying around my Rebecca Minkoff Can't Buy Me Love pouch because I've been using that when I just need to grab my license or something like that and take it in somewhere. Keys, of course, are always essential. And I have my little makeup bag that has all of my makeup essentials. And this is from Sephora. I really love that. And then my little Juicy Couture card case. I get so many questions on this. I've had this forever. It is an accordion card case that I got at Nordstrom's and it's made by Juicy Couture. I don't know that they have any styles out like this anymore, but it's a great, really functional card case. And then my Louis Vuitton clay, large clay and violet that matches on my wallet. And that is pretty much everything that is always in there. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video and I cannot believe it took this long to occur to me we need a purse tag video. I would love to see you guys' responses. If you're watching this, I tag you to complete the Confessions of a Purseaholic tag video. And please send me a video response to this video or put the answers to the questions down below if you don't do videos. I would love to hear your answers. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.